We'll both give Divrei Yisairinus. You'll be able to see a live stream of the Kever for those that are on live stream or anytime for those that call in. You'll hear our voices and we're starting momentarily. Okay, Shalom Aleichem, everyone. Welcome to the live stream of the... Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. The live stream of the Neideb Yehuda's yard site. Today, Yud Zion ER is the 227th yard site of the Neideb Yehuda. I would like to um, first thank a few people, and then we'll begin the program. Number one, we'd like to thank my Rebbe, Rabbi Moshe Yalif, from the Rav of Agudas Yisrael Beis Binyamin of Flatbush, New York, for being here with us today give, to give us Bez Hashem Divrei Yisairus, talk about the Night of Yehuda, and help lead the Yom Tefillah. Number two, we'd like to thank the Rav of Brno, who is with us as well in Prague, Rabbi Nasha, who is going to put the kvitlach by the kever, is going to light a candle before the Tehillim, and um, he is going to be there at the kever saying the Tehillim along with us. And I'd like to thank also my good friend Yaakov Schwab, who's from Prague, who is a master tour guide throughout Europe, but especially in his area in uh, Czech and Slovakia and that neighborhood. And I've spent the last few summers together with our Chabura, many, many hours in the car with Yaakov throughout the countrysides of Poland, Czech, Slovakia, Hungary, Belarus, Lithuania, Latvia. And um, I'm very happy that he is the one who was able to facilitate the great thoughts of being with the Naidib, at the Naidib Yehudas Kever today. I'd like to also thank our IT guy, our tech fellow. His name is Jan from Slovakia. He's been with us, and this has been a lot of work over the last two weeks. And Baruch Hashem, we hope with Siata Dishmaya, we will all be Matzliach here in the live stream, everyone who's on, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu should be Mekabel, our Tzvilois. Um, Rabbi Leif, do you want to start, or should I start? You start. Rabbi Leif will start with talking about the night of Yehud a little bit. That's Hashem, 12 o'clock will be the Tehillim for the Yom Tvila. Thank you very much, Yedidi V'chavivi, Talmud Chover, Rav Agayin, Rav David Aaron Grossly, to the Rav of Beis Daniel in Cleveland Heights. Incredible Rav with an incredible Kehila of B'nai Aliyah, Rabbi Greenberger, and so many more. It's a source to be here. I thank the members of my Kehillah, Gaudas Yisrael based in Yemen, and those from Beis Yisrael in Minneapolis that are joining us, together with thousands of people throughout the world. What a thrill. The Siyata Dishmaya on the 227th yard side of the Nedeh Be'Yehuda to be able to actually say his Tillim, 18 Kapitlach, to offer Divrei his Yisrael during this trying time for Kalag Yisrael and the world. And to be able to do this, so our program today and the film that we're saying, the very service, Edith Vachizuk, is the Ilan Nishmas, Mirenu, the Becheskel, the Mirenu, the Behuda Leib, Segal, Zechat Sadi, the Kodesh of Racha on his yard site. The Nadi Behuda was the Rav in Dubna, he was the Rav in Brody. He had to leave Brody because he decisively ruled against an individual who publicly was violating terror values. The fellow was close to the Russian government and they forced Nadibuda out. He was married to Rebetz and Liba and Rebetz and Liba was at his side constantly. What's fascinating is that he became the Rav in Yampol and finally he became the Rav, as we all know, in Prague. And the reason why he became the Rav in Prague is because he wrote Igeres HaSholem. Igeres HaSholem HaTzachbashtiltamachlekes. It was a terrible controversy Kiyadua, between the followers of Rabbi Yankif Emden and Rabbi Yankif and Ibishitz Zechreinim Tzadikim Lavracha. It was right after the epoch of Shapsai Tzvi 
when Klal Yisrael was decimated with individuals who ultimately actually converted because he converted and everyone was very leery of anything that would somehow or other stray from the Messiah of Torah. And Mimela, there was great opposition to Rabbi Yankif Emden, Rabbi Anisan Ibishitz had a tremendous machlekes. He wrote Igeris HaShalom. And because of the Igeris HaShalom, he was invited to become the Rav of Prague that had such notable Ga'inim as the Tesis Yomtev, as the Shaloh Kodesh, as the Rabbonim. It was an ear of Aimbi Yisrael. And the reason why he got the selection of the Kehillah was because it was an Isha Shalom who somehow brokered peace between the two opposing sides. The Nebi Behuda, his Talmud, the Chaya Odom, until this very day, we live Mipiv, the Mata Ephraim, the Tshuva Mi'ava. These were some of his great Talmidim that the Nebi Behuda developed. By him, the Ika was his yeshiva. He spent much time in the yeshiva, many Tshuvas he writes, he has to apologize for the lateness of the response or the fact that it wasn't as long as he wanted to, he had to run back to yeshiva. In his Akdome, he apologizes to the wife, his wife Liba, for all the times that he couldn't be with her because he was at the yeshiva. It was one of the most important yeshivas in Kal Yisrael at the time. And he put his koiches into developing the yeshiva and developing great talmidim. The night of Yehuda created Takonas HaKehilois. You say to yourself, in Flatbush now, there's the Takonas HaKehila of a guy in Revelu Brutni, a guy in Rabbi Sol Reisman and myself starting a process of a little bit, a little bit limiting the Maestris, 15,000 people, 1,500 people, down to 150, 250 people. It's not etched in stone. There are variations of it, but the idea being that there's a need for the Konas HaKehilas. We're not imposing the will on anyone. We're asking people to join Belineda, but Hashem many have. But he wrote seven communal decrees that sound very much like our day. He limited the amount of money that people could send on Sichas. He held Amaisa. The night of Yehud in his day in Prague, Nearly 250 years ago, made a takona that people have to ratchet it down. Moran of Moshe Zetzal was so idle, he did the same thing at an Aguda convention several years ago. They never heard Rav Moshe speak that way. Fire and brimstone against too extravagant of a public lifestyle. The Yehuda said, only 10 men can be invited to Bar Mitzvah Suda besides the Bar Mitzvah Bach, his father, the caterer, and out-of-town guests. In his day, the Yehuda said that you can't have musicians or bat at the meal. If a person pays less than a certain amount for communal taxes, he can only serve either beef, duck, or chicken, but not two of the three. Forget about a shmog, but in Eidi Yehuda, it was one or none. Noi the Behuda said, no more than four musicians at a wedding. So those that have a takon of one, Tavala and Bracha, to the Noi Behuda was four. Noi the Behuda at the Suda said, you can't have more than 15 couples. 250 is luxus. The Noi the Behuda said, you can't wander around with ostentatious clothing. Help them, I say, I'm not saying it. I don't go after Faragamo. I can't say you can't have Ramani Kapote. But the night of Yehuda made a Takona, you can dray around with ostentatious clothing. And it is the kicker. Music to every Rav's ear. Maybe the most important of all Takonis. No more small private minyanim in people's houses. You got to go to Shul. A boysai. This pandemic is over, Bez Hashem, soon. So here's August Nisht. We're not reiter- we're just reiterating what the Nabi Huda said on his yard site. I want to end with one little Maisa, and then give it over to the able hands of Yedidi Vachavivi, again, Rabbi Aaron Dov. Dovran. And Sholdik Dovran. I should know his name. I've been learning with him since he's 12 years old. Al Kapanim, 
of the going of Davana. Kids and Nimrods. Some Soifa used to say this every night of the Seder, every year. Kiddu, as I mentioned before, concerning amulets, kameas, there was a machloikis between the Nadi Behudas Chasidim and Yubyanke Vambi. Just to let you know, I'm not getting into the background of Nadi Behuda and Chasidim, but Reb Chaim Sanza said if Nadi Behuda was alive in his day, the Helga Reb Chaim Sanza, he would crawl under the table and be makabal toira, anything he'd say. So Chassidim have a tremendous respect for the Nadi Behuda. I'll call upon him. Yenis and Ibishitz came to a kihila. It was before Pesach. And they asked him to speak. Nobody knew who he was. It happened to be a shul, a kihila that followed Yenis and Ibishitz. And he got up and he said, There's Nirzach. Nobody remembers Nirzach. They were in a stupor. But there's something called Nirzach and something called Chad Gadia. It's very mystical. He says, Rabbi Shtalke Kasha of the Chad Gadia. Chad Gadia doesn't seem to work out. You have the Gdi, the little Shepsel, the Tzadik, the cats, the Russia, the dogs, the Tzadik, and the sticks, the Russia, the fires, the Tzadik, and the waters, the Russia. It keeps on going with the ox being the tzaddik, looking up the water, and the shaykhit, he's the rosh. The malach is the tzaddik, and the rebbein shem chas v'sholem. How does it work? They were stumped, they were mystified. He said, can I give you the terrace? He said, yeah. He said, if the gdi and the cat are having machlaikis, vos tutzach mit the dog, what's he jumping into the fray? It's none of his business. He's not a tzaddik just because he's champion, the victim, the goat. Leave the two of them to fight it out. and What are people cricking into this machlaikis? He heard when he walked in murmurs about Rabbi Yankov Emden and the Kameas. This was Rabbi Yankov and Ibishitz. And the Helga Noida Yehuda became the rug of Prague's Bashtold Machlikes. Rabbi Zainina, I tell you what the lesson is today. I'm not getting into Hasidim with Litfax, this side, that side, Azaya, Mukazash, Taimo. Forget about it. It's not Noigeya. If people have a different shita, a different philosophy, they follow a different godel, it might rankle you and upset you. It's not our Machlikes. I can tell you over rhyme and verse of various things, conversations I had with Shach and with Shmuel Birnbaum. I don't want to be censored out of history, so I'm not going to say them Pombi, but everyone said, run away from Machlaikis. Friendships will help him. In the schos of Nedib Yehuda, the Helga Nedib Yehuda, the Tzilm should be in the Skabal, the Tav. We should have a fuas, Yeshua's, the pandemic should be over, and we should be Zaycha to go back to our shuls, like the Nedib Yehuda said, not little Minyonim in the house, but the shuls, and be makabal by Mashiach that came to the Merav Yameinu, the Neymar Amen. Amen. Okay, gracias Shekayach to Rav Leif for such beautiful words. I just want to give, I want to be myself a little bit and give a little bit of a history of who the Knight of Yehuda was, a little bit more about his life. So we get a little picture. Um, the Knight of Yehuda was born in the year 1714, Tuf Ayin Dalid, which was Kaminyan Das, they point out, knowledge. He was a considered a wonder boy, a Yelet Hapela. And um, at 18, like Rav Leif said, he got married to his rabbits in Liba. And at that point, he would learn an entire week in the shul. Yoim Valayla, his wife, would bring him his meals, and he would just come home uh, for Shabbos. Um, it's brought down that from the age of his bar mitzvah, he was never sleeping past chatzais. He was always up and learning from the age of his bar mitzvah. And we'll see at the end how that... Um, plays into a special school law from Rabbi Yashiv Zechariah Um In the year 1755, he was all of 40 years old. Like Rav Leif said, he became the Rav of Prague. At that time, Prague had not had a Rav for over 20 years. And um, 
the Knight of Yehuda was a very dis- tall, tall, distinguished looking person. He was brought down that he was dressed impeccably and therefore he was respected very much by the government officials. And we'll see also in a moment how that plays out. Um, some people who wrote Zichrainas, they said they can never forget on the way to Kal Nidre, he would walk to Shul in between two columns of Yidin from Prague and he was Mishich Mayulamayla. He was much taller than everyone else. And he would put his hands over everyone and say, Birchas Kayanim. It was a Levi, but he said the Psukim of Birchas Kayanim as he walked to Kal Nidre. That was the site of the Rav going to Kal Nidre. Um, from 1756 to 1763 was the Seven Year War in Europe. And that's where a lot of the Takanas Hakihila, the Rav Leif mentioned, um, uh, were made by the Noida Behuda. Part of it as was a schus for the ace Sara that they were in. Um, he was very strict at that time about um, merchants raising prices, that people wouldn't be able to afford things. He had special tzfilas that he made for the government. They were very strict about anyone who was caught trying to aid the enemy. This was how he set up with a with a tkifus, the tkifus, um, for his his kihila. And those takanas that Rav Leif talked about, there was actually a major knas that was given, a penalty, a monetary penalty that was given if someone was found not to be in compliance with, with, um, with those takanas. Like Rav Leif mentioned as well, he, he had a shtick of Muhammad against Hasidus, but um, we have to understand, and we'll talk about this hopefully after the, the Yom Tfila when we talk about the Tshuva Meyava. If those of you could see on the live stream um, that you have in the bottom corner of your, of your screen that is live right now from Prague, it is mabbling over there, it's pouring over there. And um, so the camera is very much fixed under a tent. So we're going to see how much of the base Akvaris we're going to try to see with a phone and try to get to wherever we could. But the history of his Talmud, the Tshuva Meyava, has a lot to do with the understanding of what was going on in Kla Yisrael at the time. It was about 100 years after the Mice of Shabsi Tzvi. And um, the problem was that even though it was 100 years later, there was still, Kla Yisrael was still suffering from packets of um, followers and breakoffs. The Frankistan, they used to call because there was a fellow, Jacob Frank, who also went with the Mahalik of Shabsi Tzvi. And anything that was a shinui and what was going on in Kla Yisrael was met with fierce, fierce um, opposition. And the Naida Yehuda was mostly worried about a lot of the changes that came with the happening of Hasidus, famous chuvas about L'Shei Michud, and things like that. And that was the real reason, or one of the main reasons, why he fought such a mochama. At the same time, like the Rav said, the G'dayle had the Mayrim had great covet for him. The Debrei Chaim, like Rabbi Leif said, said he would come and learn from him. The Debrei Chaim said, Eloshan, that no, like, adam nobody ever really was able to overcome the night of Yehuda and Taira. And they say from even from the Baal Shem that he said that all Neshamas in the world are recycled Gilgulim. The night of Yehuda was a brand new, fresh Neshama that never had been in this world before. Now, when, uh, when the Austrian Empire um, annexed the whole area over there in 1766, Galicia and, um, and Prague and, and the whole neighborhood, so the, the Austrian Empire, Franz Joseph II, so he was a friend of the Yidin. So there was a first, the Hatsa, there was first the plan that the Jews almost would have their own kingdom their own government in the in the uh, austrian empire they would have their own uh, court system they would have their own jails they would have their own police and so on and so forth and that was something that was going to happen however franz joseph changed his mind because the haskala the maskilim um, had an effect on him and they came up with a better idea and they said let's just make everybody citizens and we'll have a chief rabbi and so on and so forth. And if anything, now everything will be secular. And that included the court system, that included marriages, that included schools, included everything. 
And the Knight of Yehuda, who was, um, they wanted perhaps to be the chief rabbi, and he wasn't sure himself. He writes Chuvas about it. He wasn't sure what to do to leave Prague, not to leave Prague. However, he fought Muhammad against this, and he eventually actually had an audience with Franz Joseph and explained to him how marriage and Gittin and all these things must remain by the Jews. It cannot go to the secular courts. And uh, Franz Joseph didn't know anything. He only knew what the Maskilim told him. And Baruch Hashem, the Noyed Behuda was Matzliach, and he got it out of the hands of the secular. And schools was still a big Mohammed that he fought. The one thing that he wasn't able to do was to get rid of the draft. Once the Jews became regular citizens, now they had to be drafted into the army. And um, he wasn't able to stop that. And when the first wave of draftees were going to be taken to the army, so in Prague he spoke to them and he gave, he asked if he could say a few words and they gave him Rishos and he talked about being careful with Shabbos and with mitzvahs and he asked them they should daven every day and he said if you're stuck you could say a tefillah kitzara, just a small tefillah with Kriyashma. He gave out tzitzis, he gave out tefillin, he gave out tzedurim and he gave out money to them. And the generals, the officers, the, the officials of the army were so impressed with him that actually they didn't really bother the Jewish soldiers so much when it came to religion. They let them as much as possible do do what they, what, what they want to do because they were impressed. Like we said before, he was a very distinguished looking fellow and he, he was a, respected by, by everyone who came into contact with him. Maran Rav Yashiv Zechrein Levracha said over that there is a school of that if someone Rachman al is sick, they should learn Bi'ion one simon in Naida Bihuda. A simon in Naida Bihuda. And it was Mefarish that the Naida Bihuda was such an Amovatayra his entire life. And like we said before, from the age of 13, he wasn't he didn't sleep after Khatsais. He he didn't sleep in a bed even, he slept on a chair. So the schus hat taira of the Naida Bihuda, the school of the taira of the Naida Bihuda, if you learn it bi'ion, it's a school for the chayla, said Maran Rabbi Yashiv. In 1790, his wife was nifter, Liba, his wife Liba was nifter, and um, I'm not sure if you could see it in the live screen there at the moment, but perhaps afterwards we'll see it. He actually put up a very big matseva for his wife. And as we'll see, if you could see this in the, you could see this in the live stream, if you look closely at the uh, the matzevas in front of you, so the one on the the middle, the middle there, is the Naida Behuda's matzeva, and if you'll notice, there's a very big one in front, and a little one in the back, and a little one on the side. So the little one in the back is the actual nusach that the Naida Behuda said to be written on his matzeva, which is a very very short nusuch that he wanted, um, basically saying that he was the Rav of Prague, and he wrote, he wrote um, the Svarim, the Naida Behuda, and the Tzlach, and a small, a small matzeva, he didn't want a big matzeva. The Hever Kedisha put up the small matzeva in the back, and the big matzeva in the front was sort of, they explained that this is what the Rav wanted, and that's what it's written on there. I just want to say these are not the original Matsevas. The About uh, 30 years ago, 27 years ago, at the 200th anniversary, they redid all the Matsevas to look exactly the way they were L'Chatzchila. A Chashaviyid named Mr. Weiss, an Einikol of the Naida Behuda, had a major project. He wrote a whole Sefer on it. Everything they did, every Matseva, how they found it. It was, it was halfway in the mud. It was turned over. And then they redid every single matzeva exactly the way it was l'chatzchila. So the, the front matzeva is what the Heber Kedisha put up, and they wrote a whole long Megillah on it, which explains that this is what the Rav wanted. He didn't want a big matzeva, he wanted a small matzeva. Um, 20 years after his Petira is when they put up the two side matzevas. You can't see the one on the left, but the same way there's one on the right, there's one on the left. And they wrote... And they wrote that they're putting this up so the rub should be surrounded on all four sides. They wrote it on one of the sides. And at the 100th anniversary, they wrote an engravement on the other side, which says that we came to the kever and it was overgrown and it wasn't taken care of. And we restored it and we wrote in this um, 
this this nusuch onto the onto this small stone that uh, that we redid the kever at the hundred years. So that is the matzev the 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 kever of the Naidebi Huda. So I just want to point out that his own matzeva he wanted very small. His Rebetzin's matzeva, we'll see if we're able to see it, it's behind, is a very big matzeva. For his Rebetzin, he made a very big matzeva, even though for himself, all he wanted was something was something um, very, very small. Um, and like we said, in 1793, on Yudzai in Ir, he was Nifter, and he was buried the next day on, on Lag Boimer. And just before we begin the Tehillim um, and the Yom Tefillah, just say a Dvar Taira from the Neide Behuda. In his Sefer Tzlach, and it's Negea to the situation that we're in, in the coronavirus, and davening at home. The Gemara talks about someone setting a place to daven, and this is not only referring to having a Mokam Kavua in a shul, it means even in your home, the Mepharshim say, if you have a place, if you daven at home, you should have a set place. And then Ayde Bihud explains, because when a person davens, he puts Kedusha, he invests Kedusha to the place that he's standing. And when he will go daven there a second time, he will have extra siyata dishmaya because he's in a holy place. And when he davens there a third time, there's even more Kedusha. So, so he says the night of Yehuda, you invest Kedusha into your place. And even though, unfortunately, we can't be in our Mekayimus Kevuim, in our shuls, which are both the our Mekayimus HaKedoshim, but we are being Mekadish, our homes. Every time we daven in our home, the Naidev Yehuda is teaching us, we're investing Kedusha. Our homes for the last two months have been made into such holy places with the Torah and the Tefillah that we have done here in our homes. And we hope that the Schus of Rabbi Necheskel, Zechreinu Levracha, Ben Rabbi Yehuda Halevi, Lando, whose yard site is today, Schus Yagen Aleinu, so, Be'ez Hashem, we hope that it'll be a Melit Yosheh for Gans Kla Yisrael. And just like he stood up for Kla Yisrael during his life, and he fought Muhammad for Kla Yisrael, and he helped out Kla Yisrael, we, we invoke his chus today as well, and it should be, he should be a Melit Yosheh for, for Kla Yisrael. So, we're, gonna, we're going to um, start the Tehillim in a moment. I just want to say, these, these 18 Kapitzel of Tehillim, is brought down from the Hebrew Kedisha of Prague that they said that the um, the Naid of Yehud himself said that these 18 are bedukim umenusim lehispalel avor hachoyla she refua tala. And it's written there on your screen in the top corner there is that nusach, that these are bodukim menusa to daven for the chayla. And the list is there as well um, on the top there. You'll see the sponsorships. I just want to thank the Traub family who sponsored um, the event, Lila Nishmas Chaim Mendel, Baruch Moshe Zav HaKoyen, and for David Zalman, Baruch Chaim Mendel HaKoyen, and also it was by a different family anonymously for the Fuhr Shleima of Israel Ben Chai Saragitol and Tzor Bas Miriam, the Soyshar Chayli Yisrael. You could still send in a kvittel to the email. It will be put by the kever. You could go to send it to Yom Tfilo 5780 at Gmail and to make the donation at the Chesed Fund, and the Kvitach will be put at the at the kever. So we are going to um, we are going to start the Tehillim. Um, we're going to have first the Rav Reb Menashe is going to put the Kvitach by the te- by the kever, and I think if it's possible to light a candle before we start the saying of the Tehillim. Um, can we Reb Menashe. Oh. You can see him there in the screen. We have pages and pages and pages of kvitzlach that people sent in. And you continue to send it in. We have a printer there at the cover printing out the kvitzlach as they come in. Um, you can see Rabbi Nasha there. I just want to chime in. It's so thrilling that the Siyata Dishmai were able to do this. It's the human Gia Super. Imagine that. You gave in your names. And the Menashe is putting them mamish on the caver on his yard site, as we're going to say is to heal him. The human Gia Super. I want to remind Louis Maltzmacher that Rabbi Gross and I are not in Prashbur. We did right. not travel. 
Have not in me. Prague. Thank you again. We're not in Prague either. <laughs> but we're not in Prague. We never went. This is all virtual on our behalf. But we did contract to have these people involved, Sadikim and others, to make sure it's being done. As you can see, the names are placed on the Keva. And I want to thank Harav of David Aaron for collecting all the names that we sent and that many, many people sent. And sending that to the printer there so that he's able to do it. But it's really, if you think about it, it's Luman Kiyasupa. The reason why we did this Asif at this time is because it's going to be nightfall shortly in Prague. And it was a concern they wouldn't be able to make their way around the Beis HaKfaris. So those that were wondering why it's so early, this is the reason why it was. As David Aaron says, after he finishes putting the Kfit Lachan and landing in there, we'll begin the Tehillim. And for those that are listening, you don't have the Tehillim in front of you, you don't have the list because you're not live streaming with Torah anytime. I'm going to list all the Tehillim right now. And before each capital is said, we will tell you which capital it is. But we have a moment now, so just write down the list of the 18 Tehillim that Noida uh, Behuda had instructed to be said for Chayu. Vav, Chav, Chavhei, Lamid, Lamid Beis, Lamid Ches, Mem Aleph, Nun Aleph, Hey Vav, Sadi Aleph, Kuf Beis, Kuf Gimel, Kuf Zayin, Kuf Tes Zayin, Kuf Yud Ches, Kuf Lamid, Kuf Lamid Tes, Membeis, Kuf Membeis. After we finish, we're going to Bez Hashem, Seachinu, and then we'll make a Mishaberach. Everyone can have in mind or say the names of the Chaylam that they'd want to be recited. You ready? Okay, yeah. Go ahead, go. Okay. Okay, Rabbi we're starting. I will say several, then Rabbi David Aaron will go back and forth. So we'll say it all together, Pasuk by Pasuk, but together. Kapitel Vav. Laminat seach bin ginoi salash minis mis molded David. Adeno yalbi ab hose hicheni, yalbehamos hose yasreni. Hone ni adeno cum loloni. Ofeni adeno kinevalu at samoi. The nafshi nivalomoi. Ato adeno yad mosoi. Shuva adeno i halso nafshi. Oi shieni laman chastecho, yein bamo vesecho, bishoel mi oideloch, yogati ban chosi asre bholai lo mitosi, bidimosi alsiam se, osiso mika, osisho mikas, eini osko bholtse roi. So me many call pale oven. He shama de noi call big ye. Shama de noit hinosi. A de noit filosi ye cor. A voice you me bolum oi. Call oi vo yoshu ye voice you roga. Capital hoff. Lamanatseach mizmor le David. Yancho adoinoi biyoim tzoro. Yisagef roshem Eloheinu Yaakov. Yishlach ezrocho mikoidesh. Umitzion yisodeko. Yiskoko mencho yisecho. Oilosecho yidash nuselo. Yiten lecho chilvovecho. Cholat so secho ye malay. Nerana no be shua secho. Uvishay meloyenu nid goil. Ye malay adenoi. Call Michaloy secho. 
את יודעת כשי אני למישי חוי יענה ומשמי קודשוי בגבורויס ישי ימינוי אלה בורכב ואלה בסוסים ואנחנו בשם אדינוי אלוהינו נזכיר הם הוקורו ונפולו ואנחנו קמנו ונשאי דוד אדינוי אישיו המלך יעננו ויהם קוראינו קפיטול כ"ה Okay, I was just instructed to go a little slower. So if I go a little slow, you want to know why? You'll know who told me to go slower. L'david eilecho adoi noi nafshi eso Eloi hai bechov otach diel Al evoi sho אל יאלצו אויבי לי, גם כל כאיבך עולו יבושו, יבושו הבית עם ריקום, דרכך או עדינו יודיעני, או חוסך או למדני, הדריכני ועמיתך או ולמדני כי אתו אלוהי אישי, אוי שחוק יביסי כל היום, זכור רחמך או אדוני נוי, וחסודך או כי מאוי לא מימו, חטוי שנוריי ובשועי אל תזכור, כחס דכו זכור לי אתו למען תופך אדוני תויב ויושר אדוני על כן יורך התויים בדורך ידרך הנובים במשפוט וילמד הנובים דרכוי כל אוכויס אדוני חסד וימס לנוי צרי וריסוי ואידוי סוף למען שמחו אדוני נוי וסולחתו לבויני כי רבו מזה או איש ירא אדוני נוי יוירנו בדרך יבחור נפשו ביתו יפתולין וזרו יראת שורץ סויד אדינוי לראיוב ובריסוי לא ידי היום. עיניי תמיד אל אדינוי יהיו יוצאים מרשת חגלוי. פני אלי וכונני כי יוכיד ועוני עוני. סורויס לבבי יר חיוו ממצו כויסי יוציאני, ראי עוני ומולי, אשא לכל חטא יסוי. ראי אויבי, כי רבו, ושנאס חומו שניוני, שומרו נפשי והצילני, הלבוש מכוסי סיבו. תוהים ויושר יצרוני כי קיבי שיחו בידי אלוהים אס ישראל מכל צורו יסוב קפיטול למד פזמור שיר חנוכה סבא יס לדוד ארוי ממחו אדוני נוי כי דליסוני ולא ישימחת אויבי לי אדוני נוי אלוהי הוי שיבעתי אליך ותר פועני אדוני נוי אליסו מנשול נפשי חיסני מיור דיבו זמרו לאדוני נוי חסידו ואוידו לזכר קודשוי 
תירגע בפוי חיים ברצוי נוי. בוערב יולין בכי, ולבוי גרינו. ואני אמרתי ושלווה, בא למוי בלי עולם. אדוני ברצוינך, העמדתו לאריוס, הסתרתו פונך או איסי נבול. אלך או אדוני אקרא, ואל אדוני אסחנון. מה בצע ביתו מברדתי על שחץ, היית חופו ויגיד עמיתך. שמע אדוני וכוני ני, אדוני אהיה אוי זה לי. הופכת מספודי למוח עולי, פיתחת עוסקים, תעזרי לי שמחו. למען יזמר רחובוי ולא ידוי, אדוני אלוהי. ליהוי לא מוי דקו, קפיטול למד בייס. ודוד מזכיר, אשרי נשוי פשע, כיסוי חטאו. אשרי אדום. לא יחשוי ואדוני נוי לא יבוא, ואין ברוכו ירמיו. כי החרשתי כל הוא עצומוי, כי החרשתי בול הוא עצומוי, ושגוסי כל היוי. כי אמום ולילה תכפד עולה יודךו, נפח. לשדי בחרבוי נק, ויצא לו, חטוסי או ידיחו, ואבוי ני לא יכיסיסי, אמרתי או ידי עלי שואי לאדוני, ואתו נוסוסו אבוי חטוסי, יצא לו. ואתו נוסוסו אבוי חטוסי, יצא לו. על זויס יסבלל, כל חוסיד אלכו, לאיס מצויט, רק לשטף מים רבים, אלוב לא יגיעו. עתו סייסר לי, מצער תצרני, רוני פלי, תסביבני סלו. אזכיר לך, ואורכו בדרך זו סילך, כי עצור לכו עיני. אל תהיו כסוס, כפרד אין אוויל, ומסג וורסן את יוי לבלוים, בל גוי ולכו. רבים החויבים לו ראשו, ואבויתך באדוי נוי, חסד יסוי בבנו. צמחו באדוי נוי וגילו צדיקים, ועננו כל איש מלאי. רב דוד ארן ל"ח. ל"ח. מזמור לדוד להזכיר. אדינו היה בקץ בחוס היכיחני ובחמוסך סייס ריני כי חיצך עוד ניחס ובי פתינחס עולי יודך אין מצויים בבשורי מפני זמך אין שלום בעצומי מפני חטוסי כי אבוי נוסעי עברו ראשי כי מסוך עובד יכבדו ממני הבישו נמקו חבורו יסוי מפני יבלתי 
נאוויסי שחויסי עד בואית כל היום קוידרי לוחתי כי חסולי מלו נקלה ואין מצויים בבשורי נפוגויסי ונתקייסי עד מאוד שואגתי מן המס ליבי עד עינוי נגדך כל תבוסי ואנחוסי ממך לא נסתרו ליבי שחרחר עזובה ניחוכי ואור עיניי גם הם אין איתי. אוי הוואי וראיי מנגד ניגי יעמודו וקרויבי מרוחוי קומודו וינקשו מבקשי נפשי ודורשי רוסי דיברו הבויס ומרמויס כל היום יהגו ואני כחרש לא ישמו, וכאילם לא יפתח פיו, ואהי כאיש אשר לא ישומע, ואין בפיו תוכו חויס, כי לכו אדוני הכלתי, אטוס ענה אדוני אלוהי הוי, כי אמרתי פן ישמחו לי, במו יתרגלי עלי הגדילו. כי אני לצלע נכוין ומחויבי נגדי סומית. כי אבוני יגיד אדאג מחטוסי. ואויבי חיים עוצמו ורבו סויני שוקר. ומשלמי רוט אחס תויבו, יסתנוני תחס רוט ותויב, אל תעזבני אדוני, אלוהי היי, אל תרחק ממני, חושו ליעזרוסי, אדוני תשועוסי. מ"א. מ"א. למנצח מזמור לדוד, אשרי משכיל אל דול, ויאמרו ימלטהו אדוני, אדוני ישמרהו וחייהו ואושר בארץ, ואל תתנהו בנפש אויבו. אדוני יסודנו על ארץ דבוי, כל משכבוי הפכת וכל יוי. אני אמרתי, אדוני חונני, רפוא נפשי, כי חוטו סילוך. אויביי יאמרו רע לי, מושא יומוס ויאבד שמוי. ואם בו לרויס שוב ידבר, ליבו יקבוץ אובן לו, יצא לחוץ ידבר. יחד אולי יסלחשו כל סוינוי, אולי יחשבו רעו לי. דבר בליאל יוצוק בוי, באשר שוכב לא יוסיף לו קום. גם איש שלא אימי אשר בוטחתי בואי אוכל לחמי הגדיל עולי עוקב ביאתו אדוני חונני והקימני ואשר למו אלוהם בזויס יודעתי כי חופצת בי כי לא יוריע אויבי אלוהי ואני בסומי תמכת בי, ואתה ציווני לפונך כל יולם. ברוך אדוני אלוהי ישראל, מאולם יד אולם, אמן ויאמן. נ"א. נ"א. 
Vamnatseyach mizmor le David. Bivoy a love, no son Hanavi, Kasher bo, Elbas Shova. Khoneini Elohim ki chastecho, ki roi brachamecho, mechei fishoi. Herev kabiseini mi havoini, umechatosi tahareini. Kifishoi hani eito. Bechatosi negdi sahmid. Lecho livadecho chotosi. Vehora beinecho sisi. Leman titzdak bidavrecho. Tizke vishoftecho. Hein be avoin chaylalti. Uvchei techemasni himi. Hein emes chofatz dovatu chais. Ubisosum chachemo soidiani. Tehateni bezoi vetor. Tehabiseni u Micheleg Albin. Tashmiehini so so in visim ho. Togel no at so moisty kiso. Haster ponecho mechato oi. Behold, I've been inside, Michai. Leif tohor, birali Elohim. Biruach nochoin, chadesh bikirbi. Al tashlichei nimil fanecho. Biruach kochicho. Al tikach mimani. Hoshi volis is oinishecho. Beruach nidivo sismecheini. Alam do foishim di rochecho. Bichatoi melecho yoshuvu. Hatzileini midamim. Elohim elihei sishuasi. Tiranein lishoini tikosecho. Adoino isifosai tiptoch. Ufi agit hilo secho, ki lo isach poit zevach veeteino, oi lo lo isirtze. Zivchei Elohim ruach nishboro, leiv nishbor vinidke, Elohim lo isivze. Heitiv avir tzoyin cho esiyoin, Tivne chohimo is Yerushalayim. Oz tach boit zivchei tzedek oi lo vicholil. Oz yalo al mizbach achoforim. Hey Bob. Tefila li David, at te adoino, yoz necho aneini, ki oni vev yoin oni, shomro nafshi ki chosid oni, hoi shav decho ato eloi hai, avoi te yachei lecho, choneini adoinoi, Ki e lecho ekro kol hayoim. Sameach nefesh avdecho. Ki e lecho adoinoi nafshi eso. Ki ato adoinoi toi visaloch. Birav chesel lechol koirecho. Hazino adoinoi tefilosi. Biakshiva, bikoil tachanu noisoi. Bioim torosi ekro eko. Kis haneini. En kamoicho veloim adoinoi. Bien kemasecho. Kol goyim asherosito. Yovoyu vishtachavu lefanecho adoinoi. Vichabdu lishmecho. Ki godoil atov oisei niflois. Ato Elohim livadecho. 
Hareini Adonai Darkecho Ahaleich Vamitecho Yachei Livavi Liroshimecho Oidecho Adonai Elohai Vichol Livavi Vachavidoshim Chol Hiyoylom Kichastecho Godoyel Aloi Vitzalto Nafshi Mishoel Tachtiyo Elohim Zaydim Kamu Olai, Vada Soritzim Bikshunafshi, Viloy Samucha Linegdom, Piato Adoino, Yerachum Vichanon, Rachapayim, Rav Chesed Vemes, Pine Elai Vichoneni, Tino Uzcha Liavdecho, Boishio Liven Hamosecho. I say, I me ois lit oivo, be a root so in ivy a voice, kiato adoino, yazarti, veni, ham toni. Maxim to do see Eloya after boy. Kiho yatsil homi pach yokush. Me dever a voice. Devro so yosek loch. The sarras knof of the resse. Sino vesera mi toy. Loisiro mi pachad loilo. Me hates your mom. Me dever boy fell ya leich. Me ketev your shoots are royim. He permits it go. Elef. Or if of me me neho. Eleho. Lo ye gosh. Rag be neho sabit. Vishilumas Rishoyim Tire Kiato Adoinoi Marsi El Yoin Sam Tom Yoinecho Loise Uno Elecho Rock Venega Loikrav Bolecho Kimalacho Yitzavelo Lishmacho behold Rocheho Al Kapayim Yisunko Pendigoy Boeveraglecho Al Shach Al Vofes and Tidroik Tomois Kvir Visanin Kivicho Shach Via Falteu Asag veyo ki yodash mi. Yiko eini veneyo imo yonoichi vitsoro achal tseyu v'yachav deyu. O irech yomim az bieyu v'yareyu bishuasi. Kapitol kof beis. Filo Leoni Kiatoi Lefne Adoino Yishpoir Sichoi Adoino Shimot Filose De Shavose Lachosavoi Altaster Ponecho Mimeni Pioim Tsali Ate Yelai Lai Ozneho, Bioi Mekro Merane Nui, Yholo, Vashon Yomoi, Bats Moi Sai, Kimoi Kate, Nohoro, Uko Hoesev, Vivashli B, Hishorakti, Mahoilak me. Mikoil an chosi dovko atzmi libsari. Domisi likas midbor 
שוקדתי ואהיה כציפור בוי די דלגוג. כל היום חרפוני אוי ואוי, מהוי לא כי נשבור, מהוי לא לוי כי נשבור. Okay, we'll do again post the test. Kol ha-yoyim chelfu ni-ovoy Mehoi lo lai bi nishbohu Ki eifel kalechem ocholti Deshi kuvai bifchim osochti מפני זמכו וקצפכו, כי נשושני ואתה שליחני, יומי כצל נוטוי, ואני כהי סביבוש. ואתו אדוני, לא אלום תשב, וזכרך לדור ודור. אתו סוכום תרחם ציון, כיוונו עדינוי ציוי נירו בכבודוי פונו אל תפילה סוהרור ולא יבוזו אס תפילה סום תיכוסף זויס לדור אחרון ים נברו יעלל יו כי שקיף ממרוי מקודשוי אדוי נוי משמיים אל ארץ איבית לשמו יין כס או סיר, לפתח בני סמוסו, לספר בציון, שם אדוני, עוזי לאסוי בירושלים. פי קווי צמים יחדוב, וממלוכו יצלבוי דסד עינוי, הינו והדרך כוי כוי. כויחי, הנו ודרך כויחי, כי צר יומוי, אומר אלי, אל תעלני בחצי יומוי, בדור דוירים שני שכו, לפונים הורץ יוסד איתו, ומעשה יודך או שומויים. המו יאבדו ועתו סמוי, וכולם כבגד יבלו, כבוש תחליפם ויחלויפו. ועתו הוא, ושני זכו לא יתאמו, בני עבודך ישכוינו, וזרום לפניך יכוין. תודה ודאי. קוף זין? קוף גמל, קוף גמל. אני מסיים. ודוד ברכי נפשי עשה אדוני וכל קרובה יש שם קודשוי ברכי נפשי עשה אדוני וכל קרובה יש שם קודשוי ברכי נפשי עשה אדוני ואל תשכחי כל גמולו עשוי ליח לכל אבוי נכי, הרוי פי לכל תחלו אוכי, הגויל משחס חיוכי, המאטרכי חסד ורחמים, המשביע בתויב אג'ך, תסחדש כנשר נעורוכי, עושי צדוקוי סדוינוי, ומשפטים לכל עשוקים, יודיע דרוכב למשה, 
Ibne Israel, Ali Loisov, Rahum, Vichanuna, Dinoi, Erechapayim, Virav Hosev, Loi Lonetach Yoriv, Viloi Lom, Yitor, Loi Hakato Enu, Solonu, Viloi Havoi Naisenu, Gamal Oleinu, Kihigvoya, Shamayim Al Horet. Gavar has doi al Hirayov, Kirchoik Mizroch Mimarov, Kirchik Mimenu Espisho Enu, Kirachem of Albonim, Rihama doinoi al Hirayov, Kihu Yoda Yitrainu, Zohor Ki offer Anochnu, Enoish Kehotir Yamov, Kitita tode kein yotzit, ki ruach of roboi ve inenu, veloya ki renu oid mikoimoi, ve chesed adoinoi mi oilom vi adoilom al yireyov, ve tzit kostoi liv nevonim, lishoi merei virisoi, ulizoi chrei fikudov la soisom. Adoinoi bashamaye mechin kisoi, umalchusoi bakol moshalo. Borchu adoinoi malochov, ki boirei choya choisei devoroi, lishmoya bekoil devoroi. Borchu adoinoi kol tzavov, mishor sov, oistei ritzoinoi. Baruchu Adoinoi kol masov, b'chol mikoi mois mem shaltoi, baruchi nafshi es Adoinoi. Kuf Zayin. Haidu l'Adoinoi kitoi, v'ki li'oi l'am chasdoi, yoimru g'ulei Adoinoi, Asher gi alam miyad tsar, u mea rotsois kibitsam, mi mizrach u mi marav, mi tsafain u miyam. Ta u ba midbar bishimoin darech, ir moishav loi matka u. Reivim gam tsimayim, nafsham bohem tisatov. Vayitzaku el Adinoi batzar lohem, mimitzukoi seyem yatzileim. Vayadrichem b'derech yishara, lo leches el ir moishov. Yoidu el Adinoi chatzdoi, v'nif lo yisov livnei adam. Ki hisbiya nefesh shoykeka, v'nefesh re'eva mileitoiv. Yoishvei choishech v'tzal moves, asirei oni uvarzel, ki himru imreyel, v'atzas el yoin no'otzu, v'yachna be'amo libom, koshlu v'yei noizer, v'yizaku el adinoi v'atzar lohem, mimitzu koiseyem yoishiyeim, Yoitzieim mechoishech v'tzamoves, u'moizroi seyem yinateik. Yoidu l'adeinoi chasdoi, v'nif lo'itzov l'vnei yotam. Ki shibar dalsois nechoishes, u'vrichei varzel gideya. Evilim midarech pishom, u'meavoi noi seyem yisanu. Koloi chel t'tzaev nafshom, Vayagiyu ad sharei moves, vayizaku el adinoi batzar lohem, mimitu koiseihem yoishiyeim. Yishlach divaroi v'yir poeim, v'imaleit mishchisoisom. Yoidu el adinoi chasdoi v'nif loisov l'vnei odom. V'yizbechu zivchei saido, Vissapru masov virino. Yorde hayom ba'oni yois. Oisei melacho b'mayim rabim. Heimo ra'u mate yado hino. Ivenif lo oisov bimtsulo. Vayoy mer vayamed ruach sa'oro. 
כשם אדוינו איקי המילם, דוחו אי דכיסני למפועל, ואדוינו אי עזרוני, עוזי וזמרוסיו, ויהי לי לישוע, קורי נו וישוע בולי צדיקים, ימין אדוינו אי אוי סוכו יל, ימין אדוינו אי רואי מימו, ימין אדוינו אי אוי סוכו יל, לא יאמוז כי אחיה ואספר מעשיו, יאסור יסירני יו, ולמה ואס לא יניסונוני, פיסחו לי שערי צדק, אבוי ואומוי דיו, זה השער לאדוני, צדיקים יבואי ואי. אוי דחו כי אני סוני ותהי לי לישוע, אבן מועשו הבוינים, אוי סלרו אשפינו, מאיס אדוני הוי סוזויס. כי נפלוס פי עינינו, זה היוי מסו אדוני, נוגי לו ונשמחו בוי, אנו אדוני הוי שי הנו, אנו אדוני יצליח הנו, ברוך הבא בשם אדוני, ברכנו לכם מבייס אדוני, אל אדוני ויורא לנו, איסטרו חג ואבויסים עד קרנויס המזבח אל יתו וידקו, אלוהי היה רואי ממקו, הוידו לאדוני כי טוב, כי לי אילום חסדוי. קל"ל, שאמלויס ממעמקים חוסיכו אדוני, אדוני שמו וקוי לי. כי אין עוז נרוג אשובו איס לכל תחנו נוי. אם אבוי נוי איס תשמור יו. אדוי נוי מי אמוי. כי אם אכוס לכו למען תבורי. כי ויסי אדוי נוי גבסו נפשי ולדברו יכולתי. נפשי לאדינוי מי שומרים לבוקר, שומרים לבוקר. יחל ישראל לאדינוי, כי אם אדינוי החסד והרבה עמו יפדוס, הוא יפדס ישראל מכוי לבוי נוי סוף. קוף למד טס. למנצח לדוד מזמור, אדוי נוי, חקרתני ותדו. עתו יודעתו שבטי וקומי, בנטול רעי מרוחוי, אוכי ורבי, זה רוסו וכל רוחי, הסכננתו, כי אין מלוא בלשוני. אין אדוני נו יודעת אוכלו, אוכל וקדם צרתוני, ותושס עולי כפכו, פליו דס ממני, נזכבו לא יוכלו, אונו אילך מרוחכו, ואונו מפונכו אברוך, אם אשק שמיים שום אותו, ועצי ראשו אל חינקו, אסוך ענפי שוחר, אשכנו בכיס יום, גם שום יודחו, צנחני וסוך עזני ימינכו, ואומר אך חושך ישופני, אולי לא אור בדני, גם חושך לא יחשיך ממקו, ולילה כיום יאיר, ככה שיחו קוירו. כי אתו קוני סוכל יאיסוי, תשאו ביני בבית הנימי. אוי דחו על כינוי רויס נפלסי, נפלאים מעשיכו. בנפשי יודע עצמי אוי, לא נכחד עוצמי ממקו, אשר הוא סייסי וסייסר, הוא קמתי 
וסחתי יוי זורץ, גורמי ראו עיניך, ועל ספרו חוק כולו מכוסבו, יומים יוצרו, ולא יאכות בהם. ולי מה יוקרו ראייך אל מאוד צמו ראשיהם. ראש, ראשיהם, אספרי מכל ירבון הקיצוי סי וידימוך, אם תקטול אלוהי ראשו, ואנשי דומים סורו מני, אשר יאמרו כל מזימו, נושאוי לשוב אריכו, הלוך משנאכו אדינו יסנו, וזכוי ממכו אסכוי דוד. תכלס סינוס נסים לי אויבים היו לי חוקרי ניאל ודל לבבי בכונני ודס הרבוי וראי עם דרך אוי צב בי ונכני בדרך אוי לום קוף מם בייס. אזכיר לדוד, יוי סוי ואמורו סבילו. קוי לי אל אדוני נוי אזוק. קוי לי אל אדוני נוי אזכנון. אשפויך לפונוב שיחי, צור עושה לפונוב אגיד. פיסתי פולי רוחי ועתו יודעת ונסיב עושי, יוי רחזו עליך חום נופח לי. הבית יומין וראה ויהי לי מכיר. עובד מונויס ממני, אין דוי ריש לנפשי. זועקתי אליך, אדוני נוי, אמרתי, אתה מחסיק, חלקי בארץ החיים. הקשיבו אל רינוסי, כי דלוי סימיוית, הצילני מרוי דופי, כי יום מצום ממני. ויציאו ממסגר נפשי, לא ידעו איזה שמחו, ויחדי רוצה דיקים, כי זה כמו אלו לא יהיה. אחינו כל בייס ישראל, הנשואים בצהר והשוויו, או אם נמבים ביום ובין ביבושו, עמוקי מרחם עליהם ויציאו מצהר לבוך ומפרו למשיב לגולו, אשתו בגלו בזמן קורי ונאמר אמן. אמן כמי שבאר פה לחיילם. Everybody could say the names of the Cholim, any names they want to say. And Bersham Zalhofen, the Schos of the Tillim, but I know to be Yehuda on his yard side. Klal Yisrael B'zeichet to Rafuah, Yeshua, Snachomis, please, my, because I know, I know the Mishnah for how to get to my Tillim is, please. I want to thank Meza Konegdoi, who's there for me 24-7. I'm not going to say exactly about everything, but Hamaven Yovin. Okay, I have quite lengthy names. Anybody has any names, please? You could add the names as well. Shaber Ravi Seinu, Avrom Yitzhak V'yagay, Moshe V'aron Dovr Shlomi V'ochor Api Esa Choylem, Tzvi Ben Rochel Matl, Fadl Sora Ben Shendl, Ita Bas Chana Avrom Ben Itl Shlomi Ben Tzvi, Tzivya, Yudi Yitzhak V'y Matl, Motra Yitzhak V'y Temer, Rivka Bas, Reidel, Shmuel ben Reisel, Chaya bas Esna, Doiv Yehuda ben Chana, Yitzhak ben Rivka Miliam, Toi v'chana bas Silo. Yeshua Hirsch ben Chaya, Meshe Doiv ben Rochel Avron ben Meim Shendel, Elka bas Zizlo. Fahal Sora ben Shendel, Chaya Eile bas Deile Rivke. Esther Bashein de Yosef Shmuel ben Rivke, Sora Chana ben Svege, Freyde Riva, Ben Sora Tzivye, Eliezer, Koyen ben Miri, Mir Mesrochel, Ben Rochel, 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 Ben
David, um, <clears throat> you said your names. Any names you want me to say? You have your names? We said them. Said them. Ben Sim, Ben Tal, Ben Gitel, Henya. It's a guy that Ben Chayriv Kabavish Misval Mavurom. Sal Zeh Akodesh Bo Chuma Rachmalim Lachlim Lapoys Marzik Mach Yosef Michlem Mer Fushem Shemayim. Chol Eivarim Ul Chol Gidei Misur Shachol Yisrael. Fuz Hanefesh or Fuz Haguf. Hashtov Agalov is man korev and Emar Amen. Amen. Okay. Is Yaakov there, Yaakov? While we're waiting for Yaakov for two seconds, I just want to say over and murder the Gazach that David Aaron alluded to. It's Mama Schniffel in the Velt. Prague was headed by a notorious, notorious governess that had all kinds of virulent anti-Semitic measures against the Kval Yisrael. But nevertheless, when she passed away, the night of Yehuda delivered a hespit upon her death. He extolled her virtues and contributions. He praised her political skills. He acknowledged her piety, a lifestyle, philanthropy. He made a special mishaberach for her. And like of David Aaron said, when he would walk through the streets of Prague, they had tremendous respect for him, the Yidden, and the Goyim as well. What an incredible lesson. An incredible lesson that we in our world have to be careful. You may have government officials who are not exactly doing what we want them to do. We have to make a Kiddush Hashem. To all the responsible members of our community that realize that it's necessary to respond appropriately and not inappropriately, inappropriately. We're still in Golis. The night of Yehuda, he knew he was in Golis. So even though the queen was a virulent anti Semite, he did not call her out on it. And just the opposite, he made such a kiddush Hashem that the entire Oilam, Yiddish Shagoyah Shalahavdol, had tremendous respect. I want to answer one more thing, mention one more thing. Maybe you guys have a look at Shuva, say it's the Kruchim to the Azat of the Aitz Asfarm, the Mir Yeshiva, and the Shuvas were Nitzchayach. The Nitzchayach, they're 20 20 Shuvas, they're tough Shimpei. All the Shilas we have in East, just all the crazy mices you could think of. On steroids, an Eddie had in his years. He had children about autopsies, delayed burial, taking an oath in a secular court, shaving a chalamoy the size of, of a beitzer, and uh, many well known children. I'm not going to get to the famous Shumal Ahmed. Hey, with my mother in law, I'm not going there. But the bottom line is, he was mavish, don't laugh, he was mavish nitshaich. And we can learn so much from him. Rabbanim, Chavriya Kailu, Rashi Shinis, Namide Chachamim. He should be a good better for all the Klal Yisrael, for his wonderful descendants, and all of us. We should be zeh b'seyat l'shma Yiratzin to Yeshuas, to Refuas, to Shedochem, 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 to Panos Berevach, Derech Berochem, and the greatest of the people. Amen. Yaakov, what's going on, Sadik? All right. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm sorry. 
the rain is so heavy around here that it's not easy even to touch the screen on the phone. So I hope that everybody hears me now. And let's make the tour due to the given weather, weather conditions very brief. I am focusing the camera now at the original out of the four, Matseva of the Noida Behuda, at least trying here at the back. Now the big Matseva at the front that you see Rab Raf Menashe from was the Matseva. Yako, we, we see you. We Sorry? see you and your umbrella. We see the umbrella. We have a we nice shot of the camera. camera. I can't remove the umbrella because of the camera. That's the only no, problem. We see, we see your face. We don't see the Matseva. You, the camera's facing the wrong direction. Ah, okay. So, so let's let me try to do something. I will try to work with the phone. Okay, so let's try this way. So once more again, this is the original Matseva of the Noida Behuda. We see the family around. Rush. Matseva of Rav Shmuel, of the grandson, Yosef ben Shmuel, the Rabbitson, as the Rabuni mentioned, a very big Matseva. I hope you see something. Just a second. The phone is wet. I'm sorry. And I Jakob, do you want me to talk while while you try to get the phone together? Yeah, please try to talk, Vodara. Okay, so so Jakob is trying to show us around the night of Yehuda is the family Kvarim, um, the Rebetzin, like we mentioned, and um, Rebetzin, Rebetzin was uh, was a son, the son of the night of Yehuda, and um, getting a big echo, but. Um, after the night Yehuda was Nifter, he was the Abed and he was not the Rav. There was a Machlaikis in the city of what to do, who should be the Rav. There was another son of a Talmud of the of the night of Yehuda, Reb Baruch Yitlis, who wanted to be the Abed. He wasn't a hundred percent as from uh, a little bit Haskala. He was uh, he had been um, affected by. And there was a whole machlekes between him and Reb Shmuel Landau, so it, it made a lot of problems in the city. Um, the Reb Shmuel said that this this fellow had stole some of his tyra and printed it. It was a whole it was a whole it was a whole thing, and that's the son of the Knight of Yehuda, who lived from 1750 to 1834. 
and um, he fought very hard with the Shabside Phoenix, just like just like um, the Chuva Meava, his friend, as we'll see um, a little bit later, or we won't see. We'll talk about the Chuva Meava, and he was put into jail together with the Chuva Meava, also because of his mochama with the Shabside Phoenix, and that was um, that was Reb Shmuel Landau. Now. And, and Reb Shmuel Landau has a, two matzevas also, just like his father, one in the front and one in the back. And, um, and in the middle, between the two matzevas, is the matzeva of his son, Reb Yisrael. Um, I'm sorry, Reb Yosef. Reb Yosef Landau, who was the son of Reb Shmuel. So um, Mr. Weiss in his sefer points out that first they thought that it was in, it just got dumped there in the middle of the father's kever, but then they realized they found the base. And it seems in, in a lot of times in Europe, there was a problem with space in Kvarim and they buried one on top of the other, like a kever deep down and then higher up. And it seems that the understanding was here that Rabbi, Rabbi Yosef was actually buried on top of his father, Rabbi Shmuel. So that's why you have the front and back matzevas of Rabbi Shmuel. And in the middle, you have Rabbi Shmuel's son's matzeva, which was Rabbi Yosef Landau. Um, around the area as well is a double matzeva of Rabbi Yisrael Landau together with his Rebetzin, who was another son of the Knight of Yehuda. And there are a couple daughters as well, um, Miriam and Elka, both daughters of the Knight of Yehuda. And also Reb Shmuel Landau's Rebetzin, Rebetzin Hindicha, was also buried there. So the whole Mishpacha, there's nine Kvarim over there with numerous Matsevas um, in, in, that, in that area. David uh, Aaron, David yeah. Aaron, just for a moment, I'm going to interrupt you because Mo Rebela, the Roshiva has to say here, so she's going to be taking over this. I will follow you on another device, but I won't be able to talk. So I want to say thank you so much. It was Meridik. Thank you for all the people that were mishnatif with us. We Thank you so much, David Aaron. I will be in touch with you. Thank you. Okay, we're just having an issue with the. Oh, Jakob, you're back. Trying to. I apologize to everybody, but the extreme weather conditions. When we are all soaked, having to stand here for last four hours, and the phones are wet as well, are probably making it impossible to make a proper tour, uh, virtual tour. Nobody counted with heavy rain. This whole afternoon there was nothing but a heavy rain. I, I will try to come to the cave of the Chuva Hava now. Okay, you can see me. Let's now see you yeah. can see the Matseva of the Chuva Hava. Okay, yes, this is the Matseva of the Chuva Hava. The Chuva Hava was, what was his name, uh, Yaakov? His name was Elazar ben David Fleckeles. Right, Rav Lazar and David Flakalis, the Chuba Meava. He was an anical of the Kliyakar. He was also an anical of Rav Wolf Flakalis, or Vlaklis, as it says in the Taisvis Yontif in Kalayim Paragimel, quotes Rav Wolf Flakalis, who was the grandfather of um, was the grandfather of the Chuba Meava. The Chuba Meava actually writes his own his own uh, told us about himself. And um, how he was a Talmud of Rameir Fishlis and the Talmud of the Night of Yehuda. And like we said before, he fought against the Shabsai Tzvinix. Um, he was thrown in jail. He has a lot of chuvas connected them. There's someone once asked him if he could be like a Shidduch with someone from Shabsai Tzvi. And he says, I don't understand how anyone who was ever at Har Sinai could be with these Rishayim that you're allowed to kill on Yom Kippur Shechal Liyos B'Shabbos. So he was very against it. He has a whole long drush about it as well. In 1801, he became the Rav of Prague. He was an unbelievable Darshan. And um, he told them like it was, and he did not, uh, he didn't care about uh, about uh, politics and things like that. He told people what how it was, the way that they should, should um, they should act properly. And um, even though he, uh, the, the, um, 
the night of Yehuda says that his drushes were beautiful, but some people they could talk and they can't write. He wrote even better than he actually talked. And he has chuvas about piyutim, unbelievable chuvas. He was a big onav. He was an av la'aniyim. He was the gabai of the Hever Kedisha. He made shalom. Many, many uh, svarim. He was nifter an Erev Shvi Shal Pesach of 1826. The Levaya had 6,000 people on Shvi Shal Pesach. They buried him on Shvi Shal Pesach. There's a whole recording of everything, unbelievable step by step of what they did. And he told his children in the Tzava they shouldn't, they should not fast on the art site. They shouldn't fight for the Kaddish. They should learn Mishnayis and say Tehillim. And they should teach their children to learn Gemara and Paiskim and not get involved in anything else. And if they do that, it'll be Taiv Lochem Kol Hayomim. And that was the Tshuva Ma'ava, one of the famous, famous um, um, uh, Talmidim of the Naidi Behuda at the same time as Rip Shmuel Lando, his good friend, as they worked very much uh, together. Where are we now, Yaakov? Whose cover is this? We are now by the Matseva of the Rebetzin of the Noida Behuda. Oh, this is the Rebetzin Noida Behuda. Like we mentioned before, it's a very big Matseva. The Noida Behuda himself had a very small Matseva. Here's a very big Matseva of the Rebetzin. That's the Noida Behuda right next there. I'm just right next comparing to him. the sizes of the, of the Matseva of the Tzaddik and the Rebetzin now. Right. Do so you see clearly oh, on the left there is the Matseva of the Noida Behuda, very small? And on the right is the rabbit in a very big matzeva. Okay. What about Rabbi Tzal the or the big dayesha, Yaakov? Sorry? The big dayesha or the Rabbi Tzal Ranchberg? Rabbi I was there, but due to the trace, I can't take it into the canal. I'm sorry. Okay. Rabbi Tzal Ranchberg was also a very big Talmud of the Night of Yehuda. Um, Wrote many svarim that we learn. He had a tremendous library. His Hagois are on the side of the Gemara, Rivetzal Ranchberg. He wrote the Pischei Nida, the Heire Gever. He was from the Gedele Achreinim. Um, he sat and learned. His wife supported him in, in her store. He sat and learned Yaim of Alayla. And he was born in 1762. And in 1820, he just died suddenly. And he's buried. You can't see it here, but he's buried right in front of the Chalka of where the family of the Night of Yehuda, a small triangular um, top to a Matseva. And the big day, Yasha, Yaakov? I am just trying to focus on him at this moment. Okay, you're doing a great job, Yaakov. Thank you. Yeah. So we are. That little triangle one on the bottom? Yeah, that's the triangle one at the bottom. This one. Yeah. This. Right, this one. Yeah, it's hard to see. So that's the big Dayesha. The big Dayesha is very hard. If you Google him, you'll very not a lot of information. His name was Rabbi Shaya Ber Reb Simcha Weiner. He lived from 1726 to 1794. And he wrote a sefer called Big Dayesha. He has Askama from the Night of Yehuda, who writes that he learned Taira Lishma, and he didn't want any godless. And um, he didn't have an easy, he didn't have an easy life. However, because the Naida Behuda writes, because he learned Torah B'Shad Chak, he became like a Mayan Misgaber. And to tell you who the big Dayesha was, he's quoted in Mishnabura 28 times. I searched it. 28 times he's quoted in the Mishnabura, as opposed to the Naida Behuda himself, was only quoted 26 times in the Mishnabura. And that's the big Dayesha. We do apologize for here's uh we've mentioned this double matseva before this is the matseva of Rabbi Yisrael and his wife Sarah the third son of the night of Yehuda there is the double matseva of them okay um this is the rabbitin of Rav Shmuel uh this is the rabbitin of Rav Shmuel rabbitin Hindicha as we mentioned before we see Rav Shmuel again that's Rav Shmuel's cover right here that's Reb Shmuel Landau, as we mentioned. Could you show us, Yaakov, the, the Vatsev in the middle of the kever? His I'm son's okay. Vatsev in the middle? I will try. Can you see it? So if you see, there's a Vatsev right behind the front Vatsev. That middle Vatsev we mentioned is Reb, um, Reb Yosef Landau, the son of Reb Shmuel Landau, whose Vatsev is right in the middle of his father's kever, which we said it seems that he was buried on top of his father. 
And again, if you could show us Yaakov to the night of Yehuda again, that would be great. Night of Yehuda again. Yeah, why not? Just to end off. And again, we apologize because due to the rain, we're not able to move the regular camera around like we wanted, which we would have gotten much clearer and much more stable pictures of and views of all these kfarim, which is a, a wealth of history of Kla Yisrael, and we had to do it with the phone. And this is the small matzeva of the Night of Yehuda, the one at the back of his cover, the one that he wanted made, like we showed before, his rabbits is next to him in a much bigger cover. So again, we apologize that the uh, it's a very rocky uh, tour here due to the pouring rain a whole day, but we really want to thank Yaakov, Yaakov Schwab, who put this together. He is uh, something else, Imperial Kosher uh, Travel of Prague. If you want to go anywhere in Europe after Corona is over, please look him up or co contact me. We'll put another tour together. Um, we've done a lot of work together, myself and Yaakov. We've gone to many new places, and he showed me a lot of old places as well. And we've had a lot of fun together. So we'd like to thank Yaakov very much. And again, we'd like to thank the Rob from Brno. Rabbi Nasha, we'd like to thank Jan, who put this together. And of course, a thank you to Rabbi Leif for giving so much of his time and his Rebetzin for giving her time as well. And we just ask the Rabbi Nishalaylam that in the schus today of the yard site of Marena, Rabbi Yecheska, Landau, Zechreina, Levracha, we should hear Yeshua's, Refuas, and Nechamais in the schus of, of, of all the tzaddikim that are buried there and all the tzaddikim of Kla Yisrael. We should be Zaycha, that we should see the Gula Shleima, the Mehera, the Amenu, Amen. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you, Yaakov.